Hi, I'm Richard Scott with Size Supply, and uh, I'm going to do a demonstration of mowing the lawn this morning. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is mount the blade on the snap, uh, slip the ring over it. Uh, this hole here accepts this little nib that's on the end of the tang. This is a Topps 28 inch blade, and normally with most of our blades, I tell you to set that half an angle so that this portion of the tang is up against the inside portion of the uh, ring, but this uh, blade has got quite a sweep to the nose, uh, and so it will cut a little better if you set the uh, tang up straight up and down, and about like this, slide the uh, ring up so that it's halfway up the tang. Keep your finger in the throat of the blade so it doesn't accidentally slip and uh, pivot down, cut you. Now, take up on the uh, screws a little bit and then take a quarter, a half a turn on each one, alternate between them. And this way you can get this, the grease screws very, very tight. Uh, and you'll get down to where you're only taking an eighth or a sixteenth of a turn. Just keep going like that, alternating between the two screws until you've uh, you've got it just as tight as they want to go. Uh, so that ought to do the trick. The hard part here is you want to take the blade off. Uh, is to start with the uh, key somewhere up around twelve o'clock and just take a little off of it, and then go to the next one. Take a little off of that. Uh, if you take too much off of one, all the stress goes on the other screw and it's very, very hard to break free. What you don't want to do is start down here and force that screw loose because you're apt to lose control, drive your knuckles into the blade, the edge of the blade. And this, if you're okay, if that guard's on there, if it's not, you're going to have a trip to the hospital. So, start, uh, start high around noontime, come down, don't go any further than 9 o'clock when you're loosening them. And that goes for both. So we we'll snug these up again. That ought to do the trick. And put that over there. Now, when you mow the lawn, it's very important that uh, cutting edge is as close to the ground as possible. So when you're standing so, that cutting edge ought to be, uh, this is a bit high actually, uh, this is about uh, three-eighths of an inch off the ground here in the middle part. It really helps to be if it's down here, like this, and that's about an eighth of an inch between the cutting edge and the ground. And that's where the belly of the blade, the bottom side of it, the arc, is lying on the ground. And your, your lawn ought to be smooth enough that uh, you can ride that blade right on the ground very easily. So we'll start, and the trick is to swing this blade in an arc. It's, and this is very short grass, maybe an inch and a half, two inches, and that cuts pretty easily. Plus it's damp here this morning. We, we've had a fundy fog, and so it helps to have wet grass, nice dew is good, and if you don't have the advantage of uh, dew in the morning on the grass, uh, run the sprinkler a little bit. Uh, that'll wet the grass. And the reason why the, the, the moisture helps is that it provides some inertia so that the grass will stand upright when the blade meets it. If it's dry, the blade will tend to uh, ride right up over the grass, kind of like a sled runner on snow, and you won't cut much. But the, uh, again, the important thing is to keep that blade moving in an arc. And obviously, you've got to have a very sharp blade, and you need to stop every few minutes maybe two, three minutes even, uh, and touch that blade up a little bit. But I think you can see that that, uh, that long looks pretty good. 
where I cut it. These are easy strokes. There's not a lot of strain here. There's not a lot of effort. So this work is fairly easy. Now if you've got plantings around your lawn and you want to avoid them and not cut them down, that's easy enough to do. We've got some hollyhocks here from just starting. And you can sneak right in and very easily with the front of your blade Hold the, hold the hollyhocks back and slide the blade out and you get the grass you can trim right up close without too much trouble. It takes a little practice but it's not hard. Sometimes if you're not having a good luck it helps to bear down a little bit with your lower handle. You know, on the lower handle. That keeps the blade right onto the ground. But that, generally not a problem. You don't have to do that. And when I say bad down, I don't mean with a great deal of force. Just enough so that the blade's going to stay on the ground and slip underneath the grass. Now this is one of those deals where you get out bright and early in the morning and mow your lawn in suburbia and you don't have your neighbors complaining. Of a racket from a lawnmower. Yep. Now I can see the arc of the cut out in front of me here. And I don't know whether that's going to show up very well on this video, but I can see the arc like right here in front of me. And if you've got an arc in the cut like that, you know you're slicing. And a slicing stroke is what's important here. And that's why I say swing the blade in an arc. And these blades are meant to cut on a slice the same way you cut uh, slices of tomato, slices off a tomato. You, with a tomato you draw the knife through and you get nice slices. And cutting on a cutting with a saw is the same thing. You draw the blade so it cuts down the length of the blade not just in one place. It's not an axe, it's a knife. So that didn't take us too long. We're nearly done here. And this is probably about 30, 35 feet worth of lawn. And it's just conveniently wide enough for a swath. Connected with an apple here. Boom, a cut off. Now the length of the blade is not a big deal. A lot of people say you're better off with a, a very long blade. And that works fine because you've got wide swaths and you're less likely to have skips between the swaths, but the short blade will do well, and I like a 28. It's, just, it's a convenient length. Uh, you can do this with a 24, you can go with an 18 inch for that matter, but uh, that may be getting a little too short. Okay, so that's mowing along. There's text that follows this video uh, down below it, and I encourage you to take a look at it. If you have any questions, please give us a shout. You can email us at scythe at scythesupply.com or you can call us at 207-853-4750. Uh, Thank you.